just a quick one team. We're um, obviously gonna go up a crack. Um, boat hasn't moved in two months, so it's more of a check and make sure everything it is, is fair howling though. Um, it's nearly 20 knots southwest. So should be bloody good. Should be good. Hopefully get some hopefully get some fish and, and make sure everything works. But um, yeah, okay. So we're gonna go. I don't know if you can see that. That's Cowell Island. Um, we're gonna we're gonna fish with a southwest coming through this way, or hopefully it's gonna go west, and then we can fish sort of around the Nelson's Rock area. If not, we're just gonna tuck in here somewhere. We'll come from Omaha up and into here. So hopefully, yeah, okay. So hopefully we'll get some fish. Here we go, guys. We're at the ramp. It's it's not windy at all. It's, uh, she's got a bit of wind on it. But yeah, the old Omaha ram. Ourselves ready to go out on the old Bronny. Boat made it. Right. Yeah. This seems to be a thing at the moment. It's rain. Yeah. Rain. Yeah, just well, at least I'm not in the water. Here we are, we're just discussing etiquette. Discussing feeding it to the Feeding it to the fish. We have we've got we're hugely successful. We have one snapper there. Amazing. 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 We've been here for about three hours. The, the, rum, the rum is flowing. Mm. Look at that, stray line mission. Beautiful, beautiful. Wind's dying off. I'll hopefully come back when there's a little bit more excitement. So just a quick, quick sit trip on this. Mark's rod is actually seized after last season. So he's, he's stray lining with my soft bait set up which can actually cause inherently a whole heap of other problems <laughs> if you need to stop a big fish in a hurry uh, we may have to throw the old the old Danny boy over the front and chase it <laughs> but we're starting to get into a little bit of a little bit of bites and a little bit of bit of action also the rum tastes amazing if you want to know Mount Gay Front there. Yeah, just help these winter trips be a little bit warmer. Okay, not a huge. For Sean. Sean, did you? Little one. Another little mate. Just turning it on for the three-way. Mark is actually at the point where you're wishing he, he wasn't using a soft bait rod. <laughs> I'm on a tiny one. I think Oliver's on a tiny one. And of course, slightly larger one it might be with Mark. Um, but it is a three-way. It's a three-way. Winter snapping. It's winter snapping. I've had a few more rums. Winter fishing. Good times. Good times. Oh my lord, Oliver. That thing is a minter. What a fish. What a beautiful fish. Mine is probably not much bigger. Oh, Mark. Oh, mine is a bit bigger, actually. Might even be a measurer. We're here for a feed. And uh, I'd say that's probably only about 310, but we're actually here to take some home. Haven't fished in couple of months, three months. Do you need the net? Okay, so 330. So we're going to keep that. It's tiny, but it'll be nice eating. Legal limit here on the east coast is 300. Boat limit is 320. But normally uh, that would have gone back of winter. Mark needs the nets, so just because of the soft baiting business, 
And that we saw a, um, a school of fish go through a little bit earlier. Fish of the day. There you go, mate. You can slip that under there. Go. So far. I've got your rod, mate. There you go. Yep. Yep. Nice work. Oh, it's all wrapped around the tip. That's a nice, uh, nice sort of gowell snapper. Good work. Slightly better one here. on dark starting to see a little bit of bigger action that's why we're here just muttering to myself over here oh you're amazing Daniel oh look at you and your big fish Could be in trouble here, Mark, with a lighter rod. Just saying. No, it could be. <laughs> I don't think it's that big. I think it's just all feisty. All feisty. He hit the bait pretty hard, and I stopped him as he was running. Here he is. Here he is. Not not a massive fish. But around that six. Oh, yeah. Uh, around that six pounds for the mark. Oh shit, Daniel! Nice. Uh, 500. Yeah, no worries. Pretty stoked. Just giving Mark shit about how long it was taking him to pull these things in, and I was like, oh, that's that's probably why. That's probably why. Good times. Good times. Good times in the boat. Rum's going well. Do we need the net? I'm just coming over to the boys' side. Get the old net there. Oh, no. Oh, your vagina. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yep, we're just, just slowly filling the bin now, to be honest. And the fish are getting bigger, so yeah, it's fucking awesome. Bloody stoked, actually. Winds. Dying ish. I can't actually feel the wind, which is the first time tonight that there's. <laughs> but this is this is this is winter fishing. Like you, you fish the right times, you do you do what you have to do, and uh, it's fucking awesome, actually. Um, yeah, we're starting to get there now. Like, yeah, we'll just watch Mark's fish come up and. Yeah, it won't be long. That's no, a really nice fish, probably what 400 something like that. Yeah, roughly. And that's sort of what, like that's what you expect and want yeah, to catch. Might be a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than that, maybe 14, but around that sort of size. Bloody good fish. Actually, yeah. Hmm, there you go. Stoked. Soft. Well, little gear at the at the anchor. Stuff. Rum. Rum's getting lower. Right team, I'm in trouble if you can see. I do not have a lot of line on that. And that is not a bad fish. There's not a heap of drag on that. But it's enough. Could be a shark though. It is dark AF. Nah, I've turned him. I've turned him. We're good. We're good. Nice fish. Nice fish. But yeah, it's just nice to not see the bottom of the spool at the beginning of a fight like that. If it's a shark, he's got no balls. I presume it's a snapper. Playing a king, but early in the season. The rum is actually going down nicely, hence all the muttering. The muttering. There is good snap. Good snapper. Here we go. Here we go. It's not funny. It's a huge boy. Oh, that's more like 15. You're right, actually, I fucked up there. Oliver, I don't want to be mean, but... That is a huge! 
You've got some bad knitting going on there. Some, let me take. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the old fry pan fish. Nice fish. There you go. And that's what we do. Over here, that is actually a cracker. Wow, yeah, boy. Nice work. Thanks, all. Nice Boys. fish. Very, very good nice. fish, mate. That is a winter fish. That is a winter snapper. That's a winter fucking snapper right there. That is a big boy. I can't do much more. We'll just give him a quick, quick little sticky beak, I think. I don't. We'll measure him, I suppose. I want to. I want to be a bit careful here. Hang on, all. Almost <laughs> like eighteen pounder. A bit bigger than I thought. What have we got? Seventy-five. Seventy-six, roughly. Ah, man, I mean, I'd love to give that to the far now, but. Mwah. Right, little fella. She's gone. Oh. Well team, that's, uh, that's us done, um, as it does happen sometimes, the fucking last fish is actually, well it wasn't the last fish, but the bite goes off after the, the good one at the end, um, so yeah, so we're, um, we're just fucking, we're calling it, we've got a pretty rough ride home, um, it's still blowing 15, 20 knots, um, even though it doesn't look like it here, but yeah, uh, so just give it a, give it a bit of a crack and we'll fucking get the fuck out of here, I might show some fillers in tomorrow. Just thought I'd capture a bit midway through the old filleting mission, um, yeah, so we're back, safe and sound, bit of a sore head this morning, but um, yeah, not a bad sort of a, not a bad sort of a haul. Yeah, but it's been cleaned. Um, yeah, bloody successful. Of course, today is an absolute corker. Probably should have gone out this morning. It would have been much nicer. But anyway.